Hey, my name's Aaron. I've been a paper cut for eight years, helping customers get printing and cut waste. With this video, I'm gonna reintroduce a popular paper cut product called Mobility Print and do a short demo. What's the point of this video? I'm gonna answer, what is Mobility Print? I'm gonna help you decide whether you wanna use it, and I'm gonna show you how to get started. Mobility Print lets admins quickly and easily share printers with users and mobile devices, and it doesn't cost a thing. The price is right, but is it a good fit? Here's what you should know. You're gonna need to have a print server. Don't get spooked by this requirement. By print server, we just mean a computer that's always on that's gonna run the Mobility Print software to share the printers. Next, Mobility Print works great for BYOD and mobile devices. So think of a K through 12 school with managed Chromebooks or iPads, or a BYOD setting like a coffee shop, library, university, or co-working space. Where you might run into trouble would be with managed Windows or Mac devices where users don't have the ability to install a printer on their own. In that case, you might be more interested in print deploy, which I'll touch on later. Lastly, Mobility Print uses a generic print driver with some basic finishing options like color and duplex. If it sounds like you're gonna need more than what Mobility Print has to offer, I'd like to invite you to check out Papercut NG and MF, which have a number of print enablement solutions, including print deploy, plus MDM deployment, user authentication, reporting, support for manufacturers, drivers, the works. Now we need to get the software. Open up your favorite browser, type in download Papercut Mobility Print, and find a page that looks like this one. This is a macOS print server, so I'm going to download this one, but the steps will be a little bit different depending on whether you've got Windows, Linux, or Mac. As you can see, I'm going to run the installer from my downloads folder and accept the prompts, including the license agreement, click install, and then enter my admin password when prompted. And now we wait. When the installation finishes, it's going to pull up this create a local account screen in the browser, which is our chance to create an admin account for our Mobility Print server. If we had installed Mobility Print on an existing Papercut server, we wouldn't be seeing this account creation screen right here. Instead, we would have jumped directly to the login screen and we could log in with our normal Papercut admin credentials. Once we get into the Mobility Print server, we start seeing a few interesting details. For example, it says published seven of seven printers, even though I haven't set anything up yet. I'm going to click on select printers, and you can see several printers published already. Where are those coming from? I'm gonna pull up printers and scanners in the system preferences menu on macOS, and you can see Mobility Print has automatically detected the installed print queues on my macOS print server and is displaying them here. Now I have the option to disable these, enable them, or toggle these individual sliders. And when I do that, I can decide whether or not I wanna share certain print queues with my users or leave them turned off for sharing. We also have this gray authenticate per job option, which is unavailable because it's dependent on Papercut NG and MF, in which case we could choose whether the user gets prompted to enter their password the first time they print or with every print. Next, we're gonna choose discovery options. Once we open this up, we get to see that there are a few different options available, including MDNS, which works with the same protocol as AirPlay and is a good option for a small office, home office. There's also DNS, which is considerably more complex. And then we've got our favorite known host, which gives the IP address or host name of the server directly to the client and is a lot more dependable in my opinion. When I click OK and then scroll down, I can see that there's a link at the bottom of the page that I'm invited to share with my users so they can start printing. Now I'm going to copy the link and share it with one of my Windows users to see if they can print. Over on the computer of our Windows user, we're gonna paste that link into the browser, and then that's gonna take us to the client setup page for Mobility Print, 
which automatically detects that we're running Windows and shows us a big green button to download the client. Now our Windows user runs the installer, accepts the agreement, and we can see this message, retrieving printer list, while the client communicates to the mobility print server and fetches the list of available printers. The user can then choose from that list and select which ones they want to install. And then finally, they click Finish, and the installer completes. To test this out, let's open up the browser, go File, Print, and select a printer that we want to send a job to, and click the Print button. To wrap things up, let's jump back to our Mobility Print server. Above the Windows client icon, you can see the number one right there, indicating that we just printed a job. So there you have it. That's how to get printing with Mobility Print.